Hello viewers, glad to have you back with me. What we're doing today is a bit of a project, well the project's already been done, uh, but what I'm showing you is what's happened. Um, I took the bike for the MOT last week and I got stuck out in the middle of nowhere, this is Wales, and so I ended up with a puncture in the back wheel, or the back tyre, not the back wheel, and I've had this, I must have had this tyre now, nearly 25 years I bought it from a friend of mine back in Yorkshire. 25 years! And uh, tread's still as good as ever, it's never worn down. Absolutely rock hard. Anyway, I ended up driving it back home carefully and so it split all the tyre. I do have another tyre um, on order which should be sorted out this week and so I need to lift the bike up which brings me to my latest project sadly I've already done it so you can't see what I've done but you will be able to see how it's done when I show it in a minute uh, hopefully this afternoon my mate Dino's coming round and we're gonna start taking this 125 apart now I do have an engine uh, um, a bike support but you've got to get out of the forks yank it up in the air and lay it on so i wanted one of those jacks that just take the end uh, the motorbike up and although i've made the motorbike frame scissor jack which takes the whole bike up we still haven't got one for the back wheels and um, which is what i'm going to need here because i'm going to take this back wheel out take it to the garage get it sorted um, I can change the tyre myself but it comes in with price so why bother so anyway here we are this is this is what we've been doing and what it is it's um, it's a basic scissor jack there you go basic car scissor jack and I've used this over years for all sorts of stuff when I, when I used to do a lot of welding on cars and stuff I just used to use it to lift the sills up and hold them in position and jack things out uh, it's been really handy so anyway what I've done now is I've turned it into a bike jack stand so this is all scrap steel I know it doesn't look brilliant but it's just scrap steel that I've had in my gar back, back at garage uh, as I've said before never throw your scrap steel away because you never know when you're going to need it um, and you don't know where your nearest steel stockholder there is so collect what you can it always comes in handy back to the jack there we go right so to get the height I built a small frame up at the bottom a couple of blocks and then built another frame and it's just cack welded onto this little square box at the top put some rebar in for the gap give it a bit more stability and then welded a nut, castle nut on there, so I can use a socket on it. Wrong one. Uh, there is one for it, I assure you. There we go. There we go. And then that goes down. And again, out of scrap, because I never throw it. I had a friend who was getting rid of an old horse box trailer, and he stripped it apart, and he has loads of this rubber really thick stuff and I thought oh I'll have that it'll come in handy and it has a couple of times so what I've been using it for now at present is I've cut a piece of this off I've drilled the holes and I've put these through so all I need to do is get these fastened down and clamped and then we'll be able to have a go See how it works. Dino in here, yeah, as I say, he's coming this afternoon, otherwise he could do this filming for me. I don't always like putting it on tripod, but there we go. I mean, I think these, if you bought them new, they're about 40 quid, something like that. You know, made out of box section. But, you know, me and my mate Sid Scrimp, if we can make it ourselves and get by without spending any money, and all well and good. Ugh, I should have got a scrimp to put this together. 
Aha. Oh, it's looking well already. Right, so all I have to do now is fasten these down. Turning it around. Fasten these bolts down. And then we can see how it works. Okay? Right, back shortly. Okay, so I've got some bolts and some washers on. Just check that. Mm. Might need a couple on edge, I think. Don't have to, but I suppose it'll look a little bit more feng shui if I put another two there just to hold it down nice. I'll trim these off with grinder afterwards and slice them off. Yeah, I'm gonna put I'm gonna put another two in there. File these edges down a bit because there's uh, square shanks on them. Just take the edge off that. Back in a minute. I'm back. Right, sort of. So, ow. That's hot. Um, I'll do the other side before I try opening it up. Looks really tight. Uh, do your hole in the steel 10 mil, but do the rubber. Just try and open it up a bit. Otherwise, you won't get your bolt through. Uh, Can you get rid? Absolutely bouncing it down. Well, what do you expect? It's wheels. So, As I've probably said before, I mean it's fine buying things new, yep, yeah, and they look the part. But if you can do a bit of welding yourself, buy a, a little cheap welding plant, learn you know how to weld. You know, there's a lot of things you can make and do. And save yourself some money and enjoy having a little project as well. Saving a bit of money. And that applies to our cousins over the pond in America. If anybody's watching this out there. Mm -hmm. 
yolk. Yeah, it looks a lot better than that. Looks like a little buffet, doesn't it? Buffet, not buffet. No, you can't eat it. Save me some backache. Trimming down a bit. Looking up there. Okay. If you haven't got one of these scissor jacks, if you don't, if you just go to the scrapyard, wherever you're there, um, just walk around all wrecks and you'll either find them <coughs> chucked at the side of the car in mud because somebody's used them to take the wheels off the car that's been dumped there, or lift the boot up and you'll find one in the boot well. Let you have it for a couple of quid. Maybe. And then we have it. That'll do for the bottom of the bag. I suppose it'll pad down over the years. I'm not putting any more in, that's enough. It's not going anywhere. So. There's the socket. What we need to do now is try it out. Uh, this is only going to be a short video for this, I think. Um, I am denied whether I should do it. Um, so I thought, why not? Just This is self-explanatory. It's just building up with boxes and box steel and just welding it up for the height you want. Right. Um, so... I'll take you over to the bike now and then we'll try it from there. Okay? Here we go. When I put all this framework in here, this box section, I made it so it was just more or less under the engine before I even add any of the scissor movement or whatever. So there's about what? A good couple of inch there. Um, but I think I know there's going to be a problem. Not for the trail bike, but for the bandit, the road, other road bike, because obviously your fairings are not this low. But I do have one of the um, paddock stands that you rock it and tip it up, and then you can get it in. Yeah, be fine. This is the cool thing, this bike. Because um, when I get it on a stand, I'm not as young as I used to be, and I'm not that healthy. So I'd have to get under the handlebars and the forks and just lift it up. And I don't have to do that anymore. Whee! Right. Here we go. Here's the moment. So I might get the other side. Uh, yeah. So is it gonna do it viewers? Do you want to go make a cup of tea and come back? Eh? Should we have a break? <laughs> no, you want to see it, don't you? You want to see it in action. Go on, there we go. We'll have a cup of tea or a coffee afterwards. Yes! There it goes! Well, I don't worry. Should be. 
Now the only other problem with that is wobbling, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, there we have it. Um, I'll just have to get uh, another block or something to go on there. Take that up. to work on something to stabilise it. Uh, any ideas viewers to stabilise that or would you bother or would you just prop it like that? Um, I think that would be fine. As long as you get a good chunky block there and it's leaning just a little bit you're going to be able to take your back wheel out. I get that of the mudguard. Oh no. It's flattened and run on the edge of the mudguard, it's flattened off. Of course it has. Right, so that's it, that's that project. Hope you like that. I'll just give you a bit better view. Look at that. We're going to have to do better than this, aren't we? Uh, never mind. Right, so. And there we have it. I'm happy with it. I uh, could have gone overboard and blocked some of the end caps off. But what's the point? Because it looks better. No. Okay. Maybe next time you see it, it'll be black blanked off. I did some of them, but not all of them. So yeah, cool. Nicely, does it? So later on this afternoon, this will be another video I'm, I'll be putting out. Eventually, we're gonna take that apart. You've already seen this on my YouTube channel. I said I'd start stripping that and doing it up over winter. Well, it's back into summer now, but... Uh, we'll have to wait and see. But I want this off the bench. I want it off because I've got... to have that bench cleared to do some more jobs on, on my bikes. I've come across a trike. You'll like that. And there's the old bandit. I need a bit more room in here. Because I can't get around, it's filling up. It's tidy one minute, just like your garage. And then you get a project and it's all blocked up again. Right. Okay. All in all, I'd call it a winner. It's ain't cost me no. Um, as regards putting a block of wood there I mean that is it if it's off the bench um, if it's on the bench readily speaking you're going to use straps from handlebars down aren't you before you start jacking it up so that's where your stability would be but this would be all right for when it isn't on ground it's stable is that look I'm rocking it I'm rocking it so yeah that little um, And if I get another scissor jack, I've told you how much they cost, you can pick them up for a couple of quid. Maybe make another one for the bandit. Let's have a look. How low is the bandit? Uh, well, I'd have to have fairings off, wouldn't I? I'd have to have the fairings off. Yeah, definitely have to be a, a lower one. I'll make two. Yeah, why not? Make two. Problem solved. Although I don't know whether I'm going to keep the bandit. Hello? Hey, oh. Mrs. Scrimp shouting. <coughs> so it's on the stand, it's jacked up. Uh, it's sat a bit squared on it. And so we're just going to take the back wheel out now. And then I can take that to the garage in the morning. Here I am if I wonder where I am. 
Very bright. How is it? You generally only get to your later part of life. It's probably because you're struggling. But when you get to the later part of your life, you think, oh, life would be a lot easier if I did this or I made this, that or other. You know, why, why don't you just think when you're younger, this would make life a lot easier? And it would have done, even when you were younger. Even though you were fit. But the point is, you just don't think that way. What do you do when you're young? Think that together as you found it, then you won't be looking for things. That's a top tip. Don't just leave things hanging about. So where's the It's first job. Uh -huh. Look at this. I could do some new brake shoes on there. I'll do for now, I'll have to order some from, from eBay. <coughs> but yeah, there we go. Now she comes. Very pleased, I wish I'd have done that earlier. I wish I'd have had one years ago. Instead of just getting hold of the frame and uh, lifting it on top of that. Uh -huh. Makes you think, you know, I mean when you're a welder and you can do these things anyway, why do you just never bother? long to make. I know you're talking to my legs at the moment. Hang on. Let's get you up in the air. There we go. Yeah, I think it took me about half a day to make. So if you've got a bit of time and you can weld, well worth making one. So that's it. I'm ready to get a new tyre put on that. So thank you very much. Catch you again. Oh I'll tell you what. Here's a mention for you. I don't know if any of any of you is into uh, 
small tractors, garden tractors and things like that. I have some bits of them on my channel. Um, but there's a young lad called Joseph. He's just reached 100 subscribers and he's called Garden Tractor Boy. So I'm giving him a mention on my YouTube channel. Check him out. He's only a young lad and he's uh, very entertaining. He's got quite a few uh, bull and small tractors and stuff that he messes with and uh, he's up and coming he's a new youtuber so check him out okay right thanks for now you have to put me some money in check for that joseph <laughs> send me a check in the post <laughs> bye